Welcome, 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 my friends. We are six of seven. This is day six of the 747 Festival. Thank you so much for being here again. Thanks to everyone who was on yesterday. Read every one of your comments, and thank you for all that. Now for something completely different again. This is the Daryl Sean combination. This is our world premiere. And uh, this is all music that, uh, that has been written since the beginning of the pandemic, I realized. Uh, this band formed, and I've wrote the music for it ever since, ever since the pandemic began. So this is really a very, very new thing. Very excited to share this with you. I've never quite done anything quite like this before. But very excited. Uh, the band is uh, Anthony Pacora on the bass guitar. Hollis Greathouse, who you met earlier in the week. Uh, this uh, is his third show. Now, now he's playing, he's playing guitar. guitar. Uh, uh, Jeff yeah. Berman, <laughs> who's on his fourth day with me. Now he's behind the drum set once again. We got Ben behind the soundboard. Thank you very much. And Deborah handling lights and sound. And I'm Daryl Sean, and I hope you enjoy this. Again, we are the Daryl Sean combination. This first song is called Pinwheel in State. That was the Pinwheel in State, and welcome. If you're just tuning in right now, we are the Daryl Sean Combination. This is our world premiere right here. And yes, again, that song is called Pinwheel in State. I'm going to go ahead and right on to the second tune right now. This is called, uh, this is fun. It's fun to turn a guitar up. I've, ne I've never played this sort of guitar sound before. That's part of the fun for me is to explore this whole thing with an amp on 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, this next song is called El Boca Dio, which means the sandwich. And uh, I actually had meant to call it the pocket, and I totally forgot my Spanish. Uh, it should have been something different, but it came out as El Boca Dio, and it turns out I like the, I like the song, the sandwich. I like the title. Uh, the song is actually kind of a kind of a sandwich in that it, it ends as it begins. I think of two pieces of bread, mashing sort of this spy music in between. So this again, this is called El Boca Dio. 
We are the Daryl Sean combination. Thanks for hanging out with us. That's part of the festival. All right. called El Bocadillo, a little spy tune for you. <laughs> you know, you notice that a lot of these songs are very compact, they're kind of short with a lot of stuff packed in. For some reason, the song, songs have just come together like that. Again, that was called El Bocadillo. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and do another tune, and then maybe I'll talk a little bit more about our origin and how this stuff came together. This next song is called, uh, is called Off, a very short song title. And I'll talk a bit more about that tune in a little bit. But for now, I'm kind of enjoying this momentum. All right, Jeff, let's do Off.
right, the song was called Off, indeed. And those of you just joining us, we are the Daryl Sean combination. Uh, again, that song was called Off. Once again, Anthony Pacora on the bass guitar, Hulse Greathouse on the guitar behind me, and Mr. Jeff Berman on the drums. So this next tune is called uh, Tiny Bites. It's a song in 6-8. And um, a lot, yeah, like I mentioned, a lot of these song titles are very short. And all this music was actually written since the pandemic uh, began. And this is something that uh, this whole band, this whole project, really was a bit of an accident. It wasn't, wasn't something that I thought, oh, I, I want to create this kind of band and write this kind of music, and it'll be cool to check it out. I was really just, um, I had a lot of time since all my gigs were canceled in Pittsburgh. Of course, March 13th, I had a gig canceled and never played it. And I had time to kind of explore things. And uh, I have this magic box that has, it sort of simulates the sound of different amplifiers. It's got a couple hundred amplifiers in it, and I was kind of, playing around, I thought, well, what, what it would it be like if I took the loudest amp there and turned everything up to 10? What could I do with that kind of sound? And uh, I started having fun with it, actually. <laughs> it was something I'd never, never been interested in before, this sort, of, this sort of kind of in-your-face sound. It was something that never really interested me before. But I started to be a little bit obsessed with it and uh, started writing music. And an awful lot of the music that we're playing today actually came to me, and this sounds a little odd, came to me in dreams, actually. I would actually hear a band uh, playing or see a band playing in my dreams. And often it would be seeing someone on stage and, and there'd be a riff there. And I would wake up and I'd run over and try to you know, record a little bit, write it down a little bit. And it happened again and again and again. So an awful lot of this music kind of came directly from, from that state. And because of that, a lot of this stuff is, I don't have like a strong, there wasn't like a point behind it. I wasn't like, okay, I'm going to write a song with kind of this thing in mind. It just sort of came out. And with the song titles, with a band like uh, the Killifish, who you saw the other night, or certainly uh, either of the vocal bands, I really have something in mind I want to communicate with that, you know, kind of a concept. With, these, with this music, so much of it just came out of that kind of dream state. I kind of want to say as little as possible and let you create the own, your own image in your head from it. Um, like I mentioned with Boca, El Bocadillo, I, I kind of imagine like a, like a spy scene uh, in that, but a lot of these other tunes, they just sort of came out, out of that state and I have some of my own associations with it, but I'd rather let you kind of, kind of construct whatever you think it might be about uh, in your head with this. So this next, next song is called uh, Tiny Bites. Uh, again, something I just suggest a few things perhaps, but I, I hope you like it. It's a song in 6-8, and we can kind of hang back in this groove a little bit. I think I'll let the boys start, and I'll jump in in a little bit. So yeah, this is called uh, Tiny Bites, and we'll go right from that into a song called Compromat. Thanks for hanging out with us.
Compromat. Whew. All right, I need a second for a break. <laughs> that was Tiny Bites, followed by the tune Compromat. And those of you just joining us, again, this is day six of the 747 Festival. We are called the Daryl Sean Combination, and this is our world premiere. This is actually the, uh, let's see, is this the third world? I think this is the third world premiere of the week. Uh, the very first night was a Libertoka. Actually, a Libertoka was a world premiere. Uh, John and I had played before. Uh, together, that was our that was the Latin duo of the week, the acoustic duo. We had played once before, although not titled Libertoka. And then on Monday was uh, the Daryl News. That was actually the debut show for that. Tuesday was the Killerfish, the one band that has played together before. <laughs> that was the Killerfish. Tuesday, Wednesday was uh, Swanwater, which is my uh, my uh, my oldest project. 
Won't so many gigs behind us there. And then uh, uh, last night was um, Cistern and Buckets, and also the world premiere of that. So this is a week full of world premieres, actually. And tomorrow, I'm going back to acoustic guitar. So if this is not your cup of tea, but you're still hanging out to see what things might be like, tomorrow's going to be all acoustic guitar, all, um, all original music from right here at Audible Images. Once again, I'm going to give a shout out uh, to Audible Image Studio for allowing us to host this and to rehearse. We've been able to rehearse just like this in our little separate rooms, but able to see each other, able to hear each other. It's just amazing to have this, uh, to have this situation be able to allow us to do this safely, to safely rehearse, and then safely perform for you. So thanks so much for hanging out with us. Again, we are the Daryl Sean combination. And uh, this song is a little, it's a little simpler in structure. We can kind of settle back into this one a little bit. This is called Down. Very simply, one, one of those titles, again, that it could mean feather down, it could mean first down, it could mean up and down. So many things to me. This one also came from a dream. All right, Hollis, if you want to start this one off.
This song was called Off, another one of those short little titles. <laughs> it's actually become one of my favorite tunes, as simple as it is uh, in structure. That's one of my favorite tunes for sure. All right, we're going to really chill out now. This is, a, this is our one really, really kind of slow tune. It's called The Fullness. And in this song, you'll notice that, uh, that uh, Jeff and Anthony and Hollis are really creating this kind, of, this kind of one kind of texture, this one kind of bed underneath it all. And I'm kind of flying along on top of it. And kind of what I pictured in this tune, and, and this, wasn't, this was definitely another one that came from a dream. I think it was sort of the, uh, sort of the bass part and the chords that kind of came to me in this dream, and I kind of wrote on top of that, uh, based on that, based on that idea. What I kind of picture is, is like cornfields in Nebraska, like this very, at night, kind of this very quiet scene, and then a UFO just streaking over top. Every once in a while, it's kind of streaking by a little bit, and that's kind of my role in this, is to be the UFO. So I'm kind of flying on top of it. This is a very loose song uh, in structure also, unlike most of these other tunes, which are very, very tight uh, in structure. This particular one uh, is very much, uh, very much just sort of interactive. We kind of start as we wish and end how we wish, and then uh, and in between, just kind of watch each other for cues. So again, this is called uh, The Fullness. We are the Daryl Sean combination. This is the first band I've ever had where my name is in the title. It's one of those things. It's like, all right, I think it's time. I think I can do this. It's called The Fullness. Thanks for hanging out with us.
is the fullness. All right. I hope you imagine the UFO coming by. <laughs> it's fun to be the UFO. <laughs> All right, guys. We are the Daryl Sean Combination. Again, this is our world, our world premiere. Um, oh, it's so nice to take a breath like that. I enjoy that in the middle of this kind of intense music. And we've got just a few more tunes uh, for you, actually. And um, this next one is called Push Over, and it's actually the very newest tune. This just came together in the last, last month or so. And uh, this particular tune didn't come from a dream. I was actually watching a, uh, watching like a, someone was demonstrating a pedal, I think they were, and just kind of messing around. And they played one chord and then played a chord right after it. And it was like a C sharp minor and a G sharp minor. Just played two chords while the, on the way to something else and turning knobs. For some reason, those two chords really hit me, and um, I started the song based around that. And um, what sometimes happens with ideas like that is that a song will really kind of get its claws into me and won't let me go until it's done. Uh, this happened with Not There Yet, which you heard with uh, the Daryl News uh, on Monday, where, you know, that particular song for about a month, I could think of not much else than that than just trying to get that song done. And same with this song. I was just really compelled to, to try to get this song done. It just had a really strong feeling for me from the very beginning. Uh, very much so. Um, and, and actually, while I was kind of finishing it up, then I learned that Eddie Van Halen had passed. And Eddie Van Halen was never exactly a hero of mine. I never tried to play in that style. But I love the way that he always projected nothing but confidence and happiness. He seemed so happy to be playing the guitar. He just seemed to enjoy himself all the time and just seemed to be so comfortable in his own skin. And I always loved that. And I think... For me, like this song and even this whole band with me having this really in-your-face guitar tone, it's something I probably wouldn't have had like the confidence to do at a certain time in my life, uh, much before now, to be able to stand out with this, this, <laughs> this enormous distorted tone and be like, all right, this is my voice. This is, this is my voice for the day is to do this, this crazy thing. And so this song, I think, is about, about that. And there's actually a few, a few kind of tributes to Eddie um, in here. Uh, a couple effects that I use, I use sort of a vintage phaser sound and a vintage flanger sound. Uh, and then toward the end, there's sort of a tapping part. That's definitely something that he might that, that he might have done. So, uh, so much respect to Eddie, and uh, he certainly inspired uh, so many people. And I've always enjoyed always enjoyed so much what what he did. Again, the song is called Pushover. It starts out with uh, Hollis, and at the very end, uh, Anthony gets a bit of a feature. So, all right, here we go. This is called Pushover. <laughs>
Thank you, gentlemen. That was called The Pushover. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We have but one more song to play, which is very disappointing to me because I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've felt that way uh, every day, every day I have this week. Uh, so again, we have the Daryl Sean combination. If you look in the comments, um, there's a link to a Facebook page. It doesn't have much yet, but we'll definitely be doing some recording this year, videos. I want to uh, document uh, all this music. Once again, thanks to Anthony Pecora on the bass. we got Hollis Greathouse on the guitar. Jeff Berman on the drums. we got Ben Nicholson back on the sound and Deborah Damasi on the cameras and the lights. So thanks so much, everyone, for being out with us uh, this week. Uh, you also see in the comments there's a link to a Zoom tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow is my birthday. And uh, tomorrow morning at 11, I'm going to have a Zoom. It's going to go over. I was born at 11.20 a.m. on a year uh, not that long ago. Uh, <laughs> and I want to hang out with you and chat if you'd like to chat with me. So it'll be fun. And then in the evening, then will be the seventh show of the 747 Festival. I can't believe we're here. This is number six. Tomorrow will be all solo guitar from right here, right from here. All solo acoustic guitar instrumentals. Uh, a lot of songs that have been very important to me this past number of years. And a lot of you only know me for that stuff, actually. Um, if you don't, I play uh, a live set every day at 5 p.m. Uh, right here in these same channels on Facebook and Twitch and YouTube and DLive and uh, YouTube and the rest of those too. So, uh, so every weekday at 5, uh, I do a set of solo acoustic guitar. Uh, I started doing that on March 13th, actually, and uh, I think last week was show 218 uh, since, since the pandemic started. So a lot of acoustic guitar coming at you. We got one more electric tune for you from the combination. Thanks again for hanging out. Thanks for all your comments. I'm not seeing your comments right now, but I will check them all out tonight. and can't wait to see that. So thanks for hanging out with us, guys. One last song. This is called Emerge.
great, my friends. We are the Daryl Strong Combination. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Once again, Anthony on the bass, Hollis on guitar, Jeff on the drums, Ben, ben back, back there on the sound, sound, and Deborah on the lights. Thank you so much for hanging out. Again, it's been very fun. It's been day six of the festival. Check out the link, follow our Facebook page. We'll have music coming at you. And tomorrow, come right back here, same time, 5 p.m. Eastern, right here in the studio. We'll be playing a couple hours of acoustic guitar originals. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good evening. We are The Combination. See you later.